So I'm a vice president in an organization called EvalueServe. We are a research, analytics, and technology services provider. Uh, currently, I primarily work with companies in manufacturing, logistics, and also in pharmaceuticals and medtech uh, to solve their uh, business research and analytics problem statements. So I think the, there's probably two ways to look at this. So there are some certain things that we're doing internally at EvalueServe as a services provider to promote employee productivity. And then of course there's things that we're doing as a ser service provider for our clients, right, to help them in the generative AI space. Um, if I speak very briefly about each of those topics, right, so internally, uh, we have been developing a lot of uh, technologies and also leveraging third-party tools, um, basically to accelerate workflows for knowledge workers. So as you can imagine, in our world, we might be trying to comb through large amounts of secondary data sets to summarize what's going on in those data sets, maybe like an investor call or a transcript, and then create actionable insights. Historically, this work was done by a human being. Now it can be done through a potential generative AI technology assisted uh, by a human, right? So that would be one example that I would give on internal productivity. Um, similarly, uh, many of our clients are now exploring this space, whether it's to do POCs or now move to larger scale production type environments. I think uh, one very interesting use case that we're seeing, especially in the uh, sectors that uh, I'm serving, is in manufacturing where there's a lot of information about products, such as technical manuals. Let's say if your microwave stops, stops working, what do you need to do to fix that? Now, historically, you might pull out a very large book, have to comb through to find a certain page, read what that says, push a few buttons, and fix the microwave. Now, with some of the digital technologies backed by large language models, you can actually easily go into an online-assisted environment, pull up your product number, search for your issue, prompt that issue, and actually be taken directly to the section in that manual where you can learn as a user how to fix your appliance. So, so these are some of the things that we're working on to enable with our clients. First of all, it, you are correct, it was my, my first event with, uh, with AIM. And, you know, as an organization, we do a number of these uh, across, uh, you know, throughout the year. Um, there are a few things that I think really stood out for me about this particular event. I think number one, uh, given it was one of the first sessions that's been done here in New York, the actual quorum and the diversity of that quorum in terms of the industries and the leadership represented uh, was great. I think it was fantastic to basically go around a table for a particular question and maybe hear from banking, from insurance, from a consumer-centric industry, from manufacturing, as there's a lot of different perspectives that were shared. Um, I think the other thing I would comment about the event is it felt, um, again, very natural, probably just from the level of people that were in the organization and I think some of the great work that you all have done bringing in the right community feel. Uh, I've done other such events that, you know, it feels a bit more rigid, the ice is a bit more difficult to break. I think here from, you know, the word go, there were some just very, very good and fluid conversations that happened. So those would be, you know, two observations and would love to continue to support the community as we go forward.